Hi, I'm Inga Land and I'm a neuropsychologist. So let's discuss L-theanine. In my life I've tested more than 60 supplements and only few of them I use regularly. I've used this one over six years sporadically because it's one of those supplements that have a clear effect on my nervous system and the brain and I will review them in this video. I discovered L-theanine about six years ago while I was studying at the university and I wanted to improve my focus and concentration in studies and I wanted to lower my stress as well. I previously made a video on lion's mane and how it really helped with my memory and L-theanine was actually one of the most effective ones for sustained focus. I started with 50 milligrams of powdered L-theanine. I poured it into my coffee because there is a nootropic effect when you combine caffeine and L-theanine. But I didn't notice any effect with this dose, so I ramped it up to 150 milligrams. And my cup of coffee has about 100 milligrams of caffeine, so that's like one of these regular coffees. So by doing this, I noticed significant positive effect on my sustained focus for the first morning hours. And sustained focus is a neuropsychological term and it means that you're able to maintain your focus on a single task even when it's repetitive and monotonous and you're able to avoid distractions. So this is in opposite, for example, to cognitive flexibility or task switching or attentional switching in which you're able to divide your or switch your attention from one task to another. Next one is quite interesting. Many people don't know this one. So L-theanine can actually alleviate intestinal stress and gut inflammation because it reduces inflammatory factors by upregulating antioxidant activity and improving the effects of glutamine metabolism. So remember that glutamic acid and glutamine are the precursors of L-theanine. And there are studies that show that in combination L-theanine and L-glutamine, which is commonly used in repairing the gut intestinal surface, have better effect on gut inflammation than L-glutamine alone. So when I had a food poisoning, I used a combination of L-glutamine L-theanine and probiotics to improve my gut microbiota and gut surface and reduce the inflammation in the gut. I recovered fast from that food poisoning and I think the L-theanine made a big difference. Let's discuss the effects on mood. One of the most known benefit in L-theanine is that it can regulate the nervous system and reduce anxiety. Whereas I don't have clinical anxiety, I like to use it about 60 minutes before I go into a crowded environment or there is a stressful event in which I know that my stress levels may go higher. So L-theanine really helps to counteract that overstimulation in those places or events. And I also have a friend who told that L-theanine helps her with her social anxiety when she goes into public events. Another lesser known benefit of L-theanine, and this one is quite interesting, is its impact on liver brain axis and improving neurotransmitter balance through liver. I've used L-theanine religiously for the past eight months or so, and I have had significant improvements in my liver values. Although I've also used N-acetylcysteine and milk thistle, so I cannot claim that it was L-theanine that improved my liver values, it was probably the combination of these supplements. But here's what the animal data suggest. Low protein diet may lead to significant declines in brain neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine. So low protein diet in this case would be something below 30% of daily intake of calories coming from protein. With this dietary pattern, supplementing with L-theanine has shown to improve the brain levels of neurotransmitters. With high protein diets, meaning that the protein intake is about 40 to 50% or more, L-theanine has shown to counteract the negative side effects of high protein diet, which is, for example, liver distress. So what's the correct dose? Studies recommend and use 100 to 200 milligrams of L-theanine twice a day. I like to use 250 milligrams once a day in the morning with my morning coffee or 200 milligrams, two or 250. 
Okay, I hope this helped. If you have any questions about this, uh, please add them to the comment section and check out my other videos too. I have other supplement reviews, I have brain health videos, I have neurotransmitter videos and interviews on longevity. You can subscribe on the button below so you, you will get also notification on future videos.